Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to the M4J network here on OpenTTD. Now last time out, which was two weeks ago, I'll come to that in a second, but last time out we worked on buses. Went back to buses here in Greater Guard City. Not quite Guard City, but Greater Guard City. Uh, and we started building out this little bus network to the north of the city here. So we covered places like Layhill, uh, Runfingwell, Slenbury, Plintbridge, Headinghall, Gondingbury, Rutway. Didn't quite make it over to here yet, but that will come in the near future. Uh, same with, um, you know, Freddingston we haven't reached yet. Or Nunford, Rindingbury, Froningwell, all these places. We haven't got to these places yet, but we will uh, in the future. It's one of these things, like, you kind of look around. Like, when you're building railways, for example, you sort of think one station per town, maybe two if it's a big one. You don't really think how big these are until you're starting to place bus stops. We could probably get like 15 to 20 bus stops just in this area alone. I nearly said 50 then. And I realise that's an absolutely huge number. But I reckon like 15 to 20. If you put them on every other street, or even every street here if they're three apart. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's what, five there maybe? And you do that five times over. There's a lot. You might even be able to get 30. And then you got, you know, Shawston is huge and Little Sindhead is huge. We are going to somehow find a way to connect the bus station to the, the railway station here, by the way. Uh, and maybe even use... In fact, we have got junctions there, so that might be uh, a handy thing to have. If I recall, this does still connect, yeah, to Guard City Orbital. Perfect. Right. Today, though, <clears throat> I want to work at Plintbridge Common. So we have this metro station up here, this underground station. Um... And then we got the bus station attached to it, but not a lot else. And then we have this huge green space, which is supposed to be the common itself. Um, but it's kind of being encroached upon by these roads. So I want to change that. Um, so we no longer have this encroachment going on. So I'm going to look at... Uh, not there, sorry, here. I'm going to look at trimming all this back here. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Frog in the throat. I say this every week. You should know by now. I don't think it's ever leaving, to be honest, which is kind of sad. But yeah, uh, I'm going to trim all these roads back here. And then we're going to use eye candy and station tiles to actually build uh, Plimbridge Common. And have it be a functional-ish um, park. So that people actually have something to come to, which I think would be nice. Uh, I think that should do it, yeah. And then a little bit here. And I think I am going to use some roads. So I think this is going to be the um, the western end. And this here is going to be Plintbridge Common. So this one here can join back up. This one can join back up. We can have one that runs across here. Uh, one that runs... Here, Ooh, hello, and we'll connect that up like so. This road I'm going to get rid of, that I'm going to add, and then I think we're just going to do that for now. <clears throat> oh, and this one here, of course. And this one here, of course. And probably that one there, of course. You know, of course. Uh, so yeah, we've got this nice big area now to work in. We're probably going to have a bus stop over here as well, and call it Common West. So I'll add that in too. That might go maybe like here. You're not going to be Rotway Woods. You're going to be Common West. Like so. What have we got here? Oh, Dutch. Nice. Uh, I think that's Dutch. I hope that's Dutch. Otherwise, someone's going to correct me in the comments. So yeah, we're going to build like a big open area first so I want non-track tiles um do I have something that's like a plot actually I do have plaza somewhere don't I uh where is it I could probably do it through the search which I've started using recently and it's a life changer I can't remember what it's called though that's not so good when you don't know what you're looking for oh is it park maybe Modern squares and parks. We could go with something like this, I suppose. For some of it, at least. 
But if I just choose like a really generic tile like this one, and I just want to click and drag, like so, uh, building must be, oh. Probably should clear the space first, shouldn't I? So if we do that, then if we do this, uh, can't build, re oh, yeah, hang on. I bet you it's because you can only build this. I bet you can't do click and drag. Yeah. Hang on then. Uh, let's go with something like really bland that I know works like this. And you are Plintbridge Common. There we go. So Plintbridge Common is now massive, as you can see. We could do like fences and things like that. As well, I mean, we don't want laser gates. That's a bit stupid. Um, what am I looking for? I've used it before. I'm pretty sure I used it at GSB over here. That is just the plaza one, isn't it? Modern Plaza, or whatever it's called. Modern Park. Modern wherever it's gone. I just type modern in. Yeah, modern squares and parks. I think it's just that. God, this area is huge. This area is absolutely massive. Okay, let's uh, add... Actually, how big is this area? That's another question. 18 by 22. So if I go 9 across... This way. And then 11 in this way oh wait no sorry if I go 11 this way and then 9 in this way so I'll just put my finger on the screen there quickly that is the center point and I think I'm going to use that for this like that um, <clears throat> we can then have like dancing fountains or whatever that is either in each corner and then some kind of pathway that links it all together I don't know why I built that one. Uh, I kind of want... Is there not a... Huh. Apparently not. We can do it like this, I suppose. Like that. And then you can go like this. You could go like that one. Uh, and then same on this side. I'm trying to think about these pathways and how they're actually going to function in and out of this part of the uh, the park. So I suppose from here we could kind of just go round like this and spread out a little bit. But then doing this no. Already no. Don't like that. Um, I think maybe if we just went out a little bit and then did that. Gotta remember as well I'm not using click and drag right now. Something like that, maybe. And then we can go out a little bit. So we'll put you there, uh, you there, and then you there, and there, you there, and there. I think that's all. Yeah, it seems to be all of them. Um, we'll go with some flowers. Again, I don't have a... Um, <clears throat> I suppose I could do that for these intersections. And we'll treat those as intersections. Uh, and then we can start getting a little bit... Actually, we could just do these ones. Yeah, that looks alright. Uh, and then we can start getting a bit creative with what we're doing here. So, you know, that could be that type. That could be that type one there and then I could just do you know one there and one over here like that and kind of break up the symmetry a little bit likewise here you know that can be like that and then we'll build another one there uh, what am I looking for that one that could be a like a pond maybe you have another pond down here and then the sand pit or the playground we'll build one there and that just helps break up, as I said, break up the symmetry somewhat. 
um, and should make it look a little bit nicer. And then we'll put some trees in. Uh, like so. And then we'll do this. And then we'll do this. And I'm sure there's like some green greenery that we can put in. I didn't see any... Uh, no, I didn't see any greenery here. But there'll, there'll be some. I'm sure there'll be some. We'll find it. We'll find it. But yeah, something like that. As part of the uh, the common design. And also... So you're now going to be a T-junction. Um, and then maybe have one... There as well. And again, it's not going to be symmetrical. They're going to be um, very, very much asymmetrical here, which might bother some people. It used to bother me. I used to be one of those people that didn't like things being asymmetrical, but I've kind of gotten my head around it now, and I'm okay with it. But I know there'll be some people, like, not happy with the fact that I've made it asymmetrical, but what can you do? Uh, and then this one, I guess, I could just do like that. We will also have pathways coming off these corner pieces as well, of course. I just want to have a try, actually. If I just did, like... Okay, so I can do it like that. If I just build these down... We will come back and add some more decoration. Uh, and then... You'll see I'm building them just to one tile from the end right now and again we'll come back and add some stuff to kind of justify that a little bit there we go and then one there uh, there's one right next to this actually I'm going to move that because that's stupid there you go we'll do it like that uh, and then click and drag. Right. So this is the basic shape of the park that we're going with now. From this, we can start adding some other things in. So for example, we can put in a couple of park squares. We could put one there. We can put one over on this side. We could put one um, maybe here. And then we can add some more variety in pathway. So we can put some flowers there there we could put some flowers here let's go with a different color it looks nice some there um some here a little bit there some there looking nice what have we got here park horseshoe flowers that also sounds nice let's put some of those there uh that's another pond one right we've already placed that so there's a tree which we can stick down We'll put that there. Uh, a square with some trees. We'll put that one there. Got a statue. That can go there. And because that goes there, I might even replace that. Like so. Link those up. And again, we're starting to see how this is starting to... Starting to see how this is starting to look. That doesn't make much sense, does it? What have I got for grass? Not a lot. At least not there. I thought I, I could have sworn I had some more pieces. It comes under... I think it comes under the Oz stuff. Cargo aware. Yeah, it's not that stuff. Uh, footbridges, single platforms, non-track tiles for island platforms. Close. And footbridges here as well. Train depot extensions. No, it's none of this stuff. Might just come under objects, thinking about it. Might just be under objects. These, by the way, are really cool. If it wasn't for the fact that we're not in Australia, I would probably use these a lot more. You know, they've got gravel and bitumen surface platforms. That's pretty damn cool. Um, maybe one day I, I will actually go ahead and use those, but right now it's going to be a bit tricky. Can I really not find anything right now that I I could use? I guess not. So, I suppose the other thing we can do then is get rid of these other um, platform tiles. 
and use objects to kind of fill the gaps. That could work. Uh, I've got to be careful here that I don't remove the wrong thing by mistake. Because that's always annoying. We could just let nature take over again, of course. That's something else we can do. One other thing I want to do uh, with all of this, though. I want to connect these up to the path uh, to the roadways properly. So we don't just have these really weird paths that kind of lead nowhere. Hold shift there because I clicked on the wrong tile. Ever since I found out that trick, it's been an absolute lifesaver for when I've misclicked. So it used to just be, oh, guess I'm going to have to delete this tile and replace it again. Whereas now, I know, if you press and hold shift, you get like a like a mulligan in golf. You get a do-over. Uh, right. So, yeah, one other thing I want to do, if I just close that for a second. I want to fund... Whoops. First of all, I want to click the right thing. Fund new industry. And I want to get some plazas. I want to place some plazas down within this common. And this is going to spawn a load of passengers. Now, some people might think this is kind of cheaty. Eh, it is to an extent, I suppose. They have a million quid each, though. Bloody hell. Um, but that's going to help. Excuse me. That's going to help with... Really? Uh, getting passengers to actually generate here. Because right now, the station itself has no reason to exist whatsoever. Uh, how do I... Uh, delete doesn't work when you've been typing in that window, apparently. There we go. So we've got ground. We've got paths. Now, these would have been handy to have a minute ago as well, but never mind. Um, I could still potentially use these, mind. But I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go back here for a second, actually. I'm going to put in, like, gate. Let's see what we've got. Not, not a lot. To be honest, not a lot. These are awful for a start. Uh, fence. Fence, fence. Fence normal. Fence. Oh, that's platforms. So yeah, laser fences just go away. I'm never going to use those. Gates and specials and then normal. Okay. I might just connect these up to the, um, <clears throat> the road direct then. And save myself some time. I could build a car park somewhere around here as well. Maybe in this corner here. Uh, and link. Let's go with like that. And also... This. And we'll have a little car park here so that people can get to and from. Put you there. You there. You there. You there. Like so. Got to use control here. Flint bridge. Common. Now, remember a couple of weeks ago I talked about um, having trains no longer go to an actual depot and have them just go to storage sidings instead. Because of that, I am still planning on sticking with that idea, by the way. Some people might think that's a terrible idea. But I am going to still stick with that idea and see at least how it works. Because of that, things like here, Plintbridge Common Underground Depot, obviously needs to grow a little bit, shall we say. So I might end up taking up all of this site here. Which is why it's a good thing that I've built the common first. So we can then crowbar the uh, the depot in after. And it, it not be a, a, a big deal. Hopefully not be a big deal anyway. You just, yeah. It probably will end up being a big deal. Uh, right, we'll put a second car park. Uh, actually, if I've got that, I don't need a connector there. And I don't think I'll have one here either. Right, let's... Uh, come out of this then and we'll go over here and we'll type in car hopefully we'll get um decent car parks yeah car parking zones that sounds nice doesn't it uh, and we'll build some of these so what am i looking for we could just do this as a starting point and then maybe have <coughs> excuse me maybe have a road 
uh, that goes along there. So that one we don't need. We could have some spaces along this bit, I suppose, as well. Um, and yeah, I guess this would be a crossing to... Oops, wrong side. Crossing to like that. And I guess this would kind of just continue. Is there one where... Ah, oh, that one. That's what I want. It's got trolleys connected to it as well, which I don't really want, but I can't do much about that, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, let's this have like, oh, I don't know, maybe like a thing there, and then we'll have um, it like this, I think, and then uh, maybe have these as dead ends. Like that. I guess that works. And then this could be a walkway that just goes across the entire site. Uh, these here could also be dead ends. And then... Um, that goes there. I, I guess this looks okay. I'm not an ex... Oh, we need some disabled parking, obviously. Uh... Now, where does that go? That is a question. I suppose we could just stick it there. Maybe a little bit there. I guess that's fine. Um, so, that's one car park. We do need to connect these up to the road still. We'll do that in a second. And then for the other one, in this corner, I suppose we could just do the same. Like a very similar design, at least. Those two like that. Uh, and then we'll have... Oh, these need to be like that. There we go. That explains a lot. That's why that looked a bit weird. And then you there. You there. And this is obviously going to be a mirror. So, uh... There, 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 and there. And then, I guess this side can have trees. Because I'm feeling a bit generous. And then you and you like that. Uh, all of these across the top. And then again, disable parking either side of the plaza itself. Nice. And again, that now looks just a little bit more lived in. And looks a little bit more realistic. We could potentially have another car park on this corner. Maybe we'll go with a slightly different design for that one. We could go with an overhead. Uh, and see how this looks. Now, the last time I used this, I pretty much gave myself a stroke. So, um, oh, see, already I've gone wrong. These are a bit of a nightmare to, to kind of get your head around. There's the right one. Okay, so we could do that. And then, uh, I think it's this one. There. But that goes out. No, that goes out too. That's the wrong one. Huh. Yeah, you can see the problem I had last time. Um, let's go with this. Maybe it's just this one that goes... No, because you can't get out then. Hang on, bear with me, guys. <laughs> bear with me. It's uh, frustrating to say the least. I think it was this one. Or was it this one? Oh, it might be this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I remember now. So if I go with... Uh, this one, still, there, then it's that one, then it's that one, then it's that one, and that's how you do it. Obviously, I need to move these over a little bit now, so they're actually in the right spot, because we might as well have the overhead bit in the center, so it was this one. That one. That one. Well, they're saying that. Oops. There, sorry. How'd you get... How'd you get into these spaces here? You can't drive through. I... Mm, I don't know if I like this... This set. Kind of feels a bit derpy to me. 
What's this one? That one's fucking huge. Massive. Right. Uh, let's try this one then. How big are you? You're a reasonable size. And I think... Like, is it? No, it is there. I just don't know how you then get into it. Maybe we just won't go overhead. <clears throat> Maybe we just won't go overhead. I don't know. I'm actually really struggling here to think of what we can do with this. We've got like bits on curves and all sorts going on here. Oh, I suppose we could... Uh... Okay, hang on. How big are you? You're huge as well. You're four. But if I go back to this, for example, and have you go up like that... Just bear with me, guys. I'm kind of freestyling it a little bit here. Let's say... I can't remember what everything does now as well. So let's say I had this one, which I believe is a three tile long. Yeah, but it doesn't end. And that's that's an issue. But then I think this one is only two tiles long, which is too small. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm not going to use this. Maybe I'm just going to use... Uh, I don't just want to use the same thing. I might just leave this one blank for now. If anyone wants to let me know <clears throat> in the comments just how on earth to use that set, please do. Please, please do. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to use... Was it ground tiles, I think it was called? Yeah, just called ground. And uh, we'll do some... basically the same as everything else around it but right now it's objects and you just make sure that nothing else get gets built on this area right now you can imagine it's like football pitches and they actually do we have might even check if I have those that'd be cool to have but yeah we now have a reason for for passengers to actually go to Plint Bridge Common uh, you know there's there's plazas here now which accept passengers and also produce passengers, or at least they will at some point. I've used a similar thing on the um, the Mount Pleasant Railway, which is all the way over here. So in Mount Pleasant, we have the hotel, but we also have this plaza that produces passengers. And because of that, we have a station now that is... I mean, the mail's crap. Um, but the, the passenger generation is actually pretty good. Good, and hopefully saying that this train actually has a full load pretty much almost almost I don't know what its capacity is total capacity probably says somewhere and I just can't see it right now um, but yeah it's it's doing well basically that's what I'm seeing so yeah if I now scooch all the way back over to whoops hello Plintbridge Common um, what was it I said I was going to look for? Like, pitch. No. There must be something that I could potentially use. Oh, we got parks and stuff here. Oh, they look so much better than the ones I've just placed. That's frustrating. There's canals we could have... Oh, man. Okay, maybe one day I'll come back and change this. We've got gardens and stuff. Look, paths. Ornaments. I knew I had them somewhere fences but then it wouldn't technically be part of the um the same yeah okay maybe having it as station objects was still a better idea i'm going to i'm going to stick with that argument for now uh i do need to go back here of course and add in these there we go and then one there as well and one there like that lovely stuff and yeah, this is uh, Plintbridge Common now. You see it accepts passengers, building materials, and goods. I don't know what the building materials are for. Is there a, an industry near here? I don't know. Oh, is it you? Do you accept 
No, you don't accept building materials. Is it just because it's a, a town in... Oh, hardware store. There we go. Requires goods and building materials. That explains it. So right there is a hardware store. Maybe one day we'll, uh, we'll take advantage of that. But we won't deliver to the common. We'll deliver closer to the hardware store itself. Obviously, we've got this depot over here as well, which we'll need to grow as um, more trains come over here. We could potentially just extend it northwards and where these depots are now, just build more siding space and have like single tracks that go through and then span out. Uh, there was meant to be a, like a southern one down here as well. And one other thing that I wanted to do today, which I might still have time for, is build a bus depot that will serve you know all of this area so if you remember we've got um, Laverty Heights bus depot up here which I believe serves GSJ GSB and I think GST is the other one and then we've got um, Fort Slumping Way Road depot down here which is most of the southern side then we got St. Michael over here that is GSMI, GSP. Uh, I think Bankside might also come from here, although that, that would make more sense to come from the south. So I think that does come from the south. And uh, I don't know what GSE is served by, actually. Considering GSE has only just been added, that's probably nothing. And I also can't remember where GSG comes from. Might be able to find that out. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. The one down here. Barnwell. So Barnwell will probably cover GSE as well because it's right there. But yeah, we don't have one for Lay Hill. And I've already designated um, Lay Hill. I think it is 13XX. But I will check that. Uh, always got to remember where my things are. Linked to most of these Google Docs should be in the description still. I did go and cut some of them. So if you can't see them, that will be why. Uh, bus route designations and Lay Hill is yeah one three X X will be Lay Hill and then G S E I think uh, is eight yeah eight X X and we don't actually have one for um, Plintbridge Parkway but I think we will have one for that in the future so Lay Hill might end up being one four. XX and then I think Plintbridge might be 1-3. I don't know though because it kind of spans out. So we'll see. But yeah, bus station. So the bus station or the bus depot, sorry, could come up here in this little gap and it would serve Plintbridge, Lay Hill, although it's a bit of a drive to Lay Hill but it is doable. Um, and then also, you know, Heading Hall and Nenfingbourne and basically all of this area will be served by this one bus depot and it could still be considered Plintbridge Common um, Depot. Or we could build it down southwards, maybe in this gap down here or over here. Or we build it out to the east somewhere. I actually like the idea of it being up here. So I think I am going to build it up here. And then the plan is next week, we actually go in and start um, adding in bus services. That, that is the plan, whether that ends up happening or not. I did mention that I was going to talk about why there's been a gap in videos. I'm sure most of you will know why there's been a gap in videos. It's to do with work commitments again. Um, thankfully, this week, I've been pretty consistent this week, I'd like to think. Maybe some of you will disagree. But uh, Forza Horizon 5 came out this week. And because of that, my, my work schedule kind of... Um, it changed, but in a way that meant I had more time after work every day to actually sit down and record videos, which is very, very useful for me, at least. Uh, and it meant I was able to get, you know, loads more content done. That's why, you know, Railroads Online, I recorded that like two, three weeks ago now and finally got around to uploading it this week. Football Manager, I was able to do a video for Transport Fever. Now this, there will be um, an F1 video, hopefully, on Saturday, which is tomorrow. And then... Uh, Sunday might even be Football Manager again, we'll see. But I've had a lot more time now to actually record content, which I'm very, very happy about. Uh, and I do feel bad that I keep missing uploads, so apologies for that. 
Right, I think this is a good size for a depot. I think that's pretty decent. Maybe go out one more on this side to try and make it more even. Uh, it's big, I admit, but when you think about it, uh, first of all, I want to make these this type again. Um, when you think about it, there's a lot being served here. We technically don't need this centre one, but I'm going to have it anyway. So you can imagine, you know, buses going to Plintbridge Common, Lay Hill, Plintbridge Parkway, all these different places. So it makes sense to have a big depot. It's probably the biggest depot in the city, actually, but considering it's covering one of the largest areas, it's basically covering all of this. Whereas that some of the slightly smaller ones, so, you know, St. Michael just covers, you know, these two um, bus stations. Actually, GSC, I think, is covered by this one as well. Although Barnwell would make more sense to do that one. Actually, Barnwell's kind of... Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and actually get this done. Otherwise, I'm never going to get this finished. Uh, so we'll put down those. Um, Ridge Woods. There we go. And there are going to be um, trucks using this as well, of course. That might be what... Uh, this side here's for actually. That could work, and then we'll put build separate station there, and then build separate station here, and then build separate station here. There we go. Right. So you are going to be. Now, I want to call you Plintbridge Common again. I suppose I still could. I, the way I'm looking at the geography of this is... <clears throat> this is supposedly Plintbridge Common Depot North. I might change that to East. Just because it is now East of Plintbridge Common. But you think... From here to the depot is... You know, three streets away. Plus an extra tile there. This bit's a lot wider than this bit. We're talking like a five, ten minute walk maybe. If you were to do this in real life. Maybe. There or thereabouts. You think about how big a house is, for example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses away. So that's not five minutes. That's ridiculous. The scale in Open TTD is just, it's very hard to, to kind of keep track of. So what I'm trying to say is I don't think this is going to be Plintbridge Common um, Bus Depot. I think this is going to be something else. So Tarningwell Ridge. Where is Tarningwell Ridge? Over there. See, that's too far away for me. I kind of like the idea of this being... Um, Named after something a little bit... Maybe like Plintbridge Peninsula Bus Depot. Or Road Vehicle... Or Road Depot even. Because it's kind of on... Okay, how do you spell Peninsula? That's a question as well. Um, it's kind of on like a little bit of land that just juts out. Oh, it is spelt that easily. Okay. P-E-N... I N S U L A. Uh, and then road depot. There we go. Go back here. So PPRD. PPRD. Uh, West entry, I guess we'll call it. And then actually, do you know what? You're just going to be entry. And then you are PPRD. Actually, I'm going to change that one more time. PPRD bus exit. And then we'll come here again. And you're going to be bus entry. And then this one is going to be PPRD. Uh, oops, I only did one P. There we go. And then truck entry exit. We'll see how this works as a concept. And then one final thing. Need one more road like that. Uh, 
There we are. And then we'll put some actual depots in. So I think we'll have one maybe here for the bus. Actually, where's halfway for the buses? About there. And then for the trucks, it's smack bang there. Okay. I'm happy with that. I think that's okay. Um, this little one-way system that we've developed here should keep vehicles from... I mean, in real, in in game, even vehicles would just drive through each other. But in real life, you can imagine it would just stop traffic from building up. Basically, are these plazas actually functional yet? They are not. How do they become? Is it just time before they become functional? I mean, they might still be under construction. Thinking about it, they look like this when you place them down. But I think it takes a, some time, especially as I've slowed down the game time. Obviously, I think it just takes some time for them to get established and things like that. Once they are. Then we should be okay. Alrighty then. Well, I think that does it for this episode, guys. We've, we've not done a huge amount uh, in terms of, you know, big build projects and things like that. But we're, we're working on something still. And I, I remember saying when I started doing buses way, way, way back when, that this isn't just something that will happen overnight. You know, it will take time. Uh, and we're slowly starting to get there. So this looks really nice now. I might look and see if I got any like tree, uh, not those trees, sorry. Have I got any here, trees? No. I might look to see if there are any objects that have trees in and plop some of them around here as well, just so it doesn't look like a barren wasteland wherever there's no pathways and stuff. Uh, we've got these two car parks now, the southeast and southwest car parks, one right next to the bus stop, which is really handy. And yeah, I think it just looks a little bit more habitable now. It looks a bit more like Guard City rather than just, you know, this area that could be miles outside the city. Turn station names off again. This is going to be the thumbnail, but I'll sort that out in a minute. And that'll do for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, you're enjoying... enjoying enduring in <laughs> you might be enduring the series so far but if you're enjoying it then uh, yeah hit the like button um drop the, those comments down below ideas for future episodes give me some ideas on how to use that car park uh object set as well i've tried using it before you might remember a few weeks ago the high speed station that wasn't pretty either um so yeah let me know how to use that that'd be very much appreciated besides all that if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have already subscribed to the channel thank you guys for your continued support and until next time, I'll see you soon.